Oh yeah. What's up, friends? Uh, today's story is about neurostatus and my lack of it sometimes when taking care of patients. I'm gonna preface this. So one of the neuro orientation questions I ask a lot because I had a preceptor who used to ask this question a lot was can you tell me who the president is aside from the normal tell me your birthday tell me what you ate for dinner maybe those sort of normal stuff so I sort of developed that habit as well here's the caveat when you ask people in the deep south as I was at the time who the president is when a Barack Obama was just recently elected you get some political fire directed at you sometimes. Sometimes elderly folks, sometimes their filter is gone, they're heavily medicated, and they have some opinions, which they will give you for about 37 minutes while your other patient's propofol is beeping because you haven't replaced the bag in a while. But here's the thing, the universe has a sense of humor. And when I went to the West Coast to become a traveler, Donald Trump had just become elected president and the same thing happened. I would ask patients, can you tell me who the president is, sir? And sometimes they would just say Donald Trump and go about their business, but sometimes you hear a lot of opinion about taxes and gun control and abortion and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And granted, sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's very interesting to hear patients' opinion, especially when you ask someone and you don't expect them to be political and they give you all this information, you're like, whoa, but it's kind of fascinating to me. So for a long time, I used to ask that question, but I had a patient, um, when I was a newer nurse, so I wasn't very um, savvy about certain things yet, and I was still a little, you know, tense about asking questions and just about nursing in general, which I'm still tense, but just a little bit less clenched every year. Um, but I asked this, this patient had pretty much, um, I've been asking him every hour, and he was over it, you know, he's like, I know all this stuff, but I was like, I know, sir, but I still got to ask you to make sure, you know, your post stroke, so I got to make sure nothing changes. So he sort of developed the habit as soon as I would go in the room before I'd ask him the question, he'd be like, my name is Mr. Smith, this is the date, this is who the president is, this is what I ate for dinner last night. And I'm like, okay, you're wise to my game. But I was like, no, I got this, I know what to do. So I went in and I said, sir, who's the vice president? Cut to, my mind is blank. I, you could have paid me $13.2,000 and I wouldn't have been able to tell you who the vice president was. This was my monologue going on in my head. Why did you ask him who the vice president is? I don't know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Well, now you're gonna look like a fool because you can't answer that question. I know, no one's ever been this stupid before. Calm down, maybe he doesn't know either and you can just make up a I can't make up a name of who the vice president is. And then my patient was sort of like looking around for a second. I was like, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna have to make up an excuse to leave this room so I can go look it up. And he just said, Joe Biden? Is it Joe Biden? And I said, yes. Yes, sir. Well done. It is Joe Biden. But sometimes it happens in nursing. When you have to remember when people's labs are due, when their meds are due, what proper ACLS protocol is, what's the protocol for calling this doctor if the patient's having chest pain or a neurological chain, and what CT's number is. Sometimes the most simple things of like, have I peed all day? Those questions you can't answer for some reason. I'm gonna have to start featuring some stories where I come across as a hero because the last couple haven't played well in my favor. But while I think about all those times where I saved people's lives and did amazing non-stupid things, I wanna hear about your stories. Tell me your sad ones, your happy ones, your funny ones, your I learned something about humanity ones, I learned something about myself ones, anything at all. I would love to hear them. Hashtag sweet and salty nurse story on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I can't wait to hear from you guys and until next time.